another day out here on the homestead. Today we are uh, out here right after a fresh snow. Gonna have to do some quick work in the woods, get a couple things taken care of. It snowed last night, so these deer tracks are from today. Right there. But here we are. This here is a pile of firewood. Got all the shorties right over there. Got some more right here. This is all we got left to do. Absolutely no shortage of firewood right here. This is uh, just cleaning up some projects from uh, a couple years ago that we worked on, uh, kind of before we started doing this. I got some other videos that we'll be posting down the road showing uh, where all this wood came from and everything, but I gotta get those edited up. But this is, uh, that's a lot of firewood to stack. We'll be doing that shortly, but let's get those cameras and get those box blinds taken care of. A couple people have asked about the homestead cabin here and what the inside looks like, so I gotta run in and get the keys, but I'll bring you guys along and I'll show you what it looks like. Alrighty, here we are. This is the homestead cabin. Let's see if we got any friends in any of our traps. Nope, we're good. So basically we use this kind of as a storage facility, um, place to stage stuff. So this is like a bunch of wood that we're gonna be using. A couple different uh, pieces for a project, but yeah. One problem with this is there's a lot of leaks in the ceiling. The floor is in really bad shape. And unfortunately, uh, the bones of the building are kind of falling down around it. Uh, we may end up spending some time refurbishing this uh, space, but at this point, we're just kind of using it as storage. Food plot buckets here, our, sh our shooting targets, uh, something for the homestead. Um, project this year that's a tank that we're going to use to put uh, water in for the homestead orchard some cabinets that I'm going to be using in the barn for storage those windows hopefully will become a greenhouse someday this board here we're going to use and that board there as some liner for uh, um, a uh, outhouse that room over there is just uh, another storage room Fortunately, I don't have any of the power out here right now. Otherwise, I could fire it up and show you what it looks like with the lights on. But at this point in time, it's just kind of give you an idea of uh, what this place looks like. so quiet out here today I can actually hear the snow falling which if you've ever been in the city you'd never hear that but out in the country here you'll know what I mean if you can say it's quiet enough that you can hear the snow falling let's see what's on the card now a lot of people tell you to get one of those card readers to copy the photos but I'll be honest with you this seems to be much faster that and I can check the card and make sure everything is good. Make sure there's no errors or issues or anything like that. All right, so we're copying the photos over. I'll probably make a video after this one um, showing what kind of photos we have. But on the out camera here, we have 1400 photos. 
camera looks good, batteries look good, so we're going to get this copied over and move on to the next step. Alrighty, so just a quick run through of what I do with my cameras. Uh, first thing, make sure you're, you are you got a big enough card. I usually put a 2 gig or 4 gig card in there. Cards are so cheap these days, get whatever size you can. That way the camera can run for a long time, you don't run out of taking pictures. I keep a log in my cell phone of the battery. So these were changed back in November. So quite honestly, these should probably last until about March. Um, but I always make sure that I come out, change the batteries. One thing I saw one person do is they take a piece of tape and tape the date across the battery. So when you come back and open it up, you can tell when it was last. Unfortunately, this model of camera doesn't tell you when the batteries uh, need to be changed. Double check your lens to make sure it's clean. Double check your sensor, then turn it on and take a look at the date and the time. Yep, everything looks good there. Turn it on to the mode. Close it up. And then I keep mine in a, bear, a, a box called the bear box. Uh, one, to make sure it doesn't get stolen, and two, to make sure no animals destroy them. Slide this together. Pop the lock on. And now we're off to the next one. Sometimes you go. have a problem with your uh, cameras, uh, like this one here. The bolt broke on the back of it here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I carry a small tool kit with me. And while the images are copying, there's 2,200 of them here. Uh, got a drill and some tools and some parts and stuff in here basically kind of like a little rescue kit for the cameras that I uh, just throw in my bag. Some screws, bolts, extra memory cards, you know, just a couple of little things that when you run into problems and you need to maintain your stuff, then you don't have to run back and get it. You got everything right see, here. So. Cordless drill. And then in this kit, just got some small things that you know, make a difference out here. Some different types of screws, some different washers, nut drivers, lag bolts, those types of things. Stuff that in case something happens to one of the cameras, you can fix it. Like this one's broken, so I'm gonna go grab it right now and we'll fix it up right now. Ain't nothing wrong with the camera, but this bolt broke, so. I'm gonna just get some extra parts here. This should be good. Get our drill and we'll get this one fixed. And then you just bring your drill in. There we go. Box is fixed. Now we can get the camera put back together. One other thing we need to do is go up and I've got cushions on all of my ladder stands to make it a little bit nicer for the guys when they come out hunting. So we're going to go up there and get all the cushions and start loading them in the back of the gator and uh, hauling them out of here. I don't know if anybody remembers, but this is uh, Food Plot 36. I've actually been out here with Joe and with Cameron. Uh, earlier this year we planted and I did a little video. I'll do a little link up in the... Uh, little button in the corner if you want to check out the video but this food plot's probably one of our most popular just in the sense that we're up on a huge ridge so behind us here is a huge um, valley and then on the other side of us back by where the exit stand is we drive through a huge valley so we're up on this ridge here and uh, it's one of the kind of remote places that we have on the property but I still have access to it through vehicles and it was already cleared and just had a bunch of scrub brush in it. So we burned the scrub brush out and uh, planted in our grasses and everything's been going really, really well. So we have a nice ladder stand on this one here for bow season for hunting. And we see turkeys and we see deer and everything else. But uh, it's kind of a fun place to go out hiking and checking stuff out. So let's go get the cushion down off of this one and we'll move on to the next stop. For those of you who are afraid of heights, you're probably not going to like this part, but... Uh, Here's a quick view. Let's see how far down in the valley we can see on this side. And then on this side. But we'll get our rope off of here. And we'll get our uh, cushion off of here. My old man actually makes these cushions. They are phenomenal. Uh, he just takes fabric and plastic bag and at some point in time I'll do a little video but it takes the uh, metal seat that's normally on here and turns it into a nice comfortable place to sit so 
Let's get this one off and we'll go on to the next one. All right, this is this one, on to the next one. So I just wanted to do a quick update video, just kind of go out on the property, drive around a little bit, bring you guys along. We got all the ladder stands taken care of, the box blinds, and checked all the cameras, so we're good for the winter on the property. It's kind of nice just getting out in the gator and taking a little time in the afternoon and just kind of enjoying the peace and quiet out here. I'll tell you, it's uh, really nice to be out here and it's just, it's so quiet. and You can hear the snow falling, that's just crazy. So at the end of this video, I'll tag another video, which will be the photos uh, from the cameras. I'll get something edited together and put it on there. If you like what we're doing, uh, there'll be a little button at the end. Hit subscribe if you're not, and you can follow along with our adventures. Otherwise, this has been the Weekend Homestead, living a simple life one weekend at a time. Thanks for watching.